Hello everybody, Michael Spagimi here. So today I'll be playing a bit of something a bit different. And it's Roblox. I don't usually even play this game. Just made an account just because guys, two weeks ago they added a mod specifically be pretty much a part of a squid game. So what is squid game? It's a Netflix TV show, a Korean, South Korean Netflix TV show, similar to Hunger Games. And you pretty much play pretty much people that were in debt, debt too much. And yeah, it's a pretty good show. If you don't, if you didn't watch it yet, you should, uh, you should really watch it. And it is one of the more popular Netflix shows right now. Number one in Canada from where I am. Okay, so here we are on a better server. Beforehand, the server was kind of... The other server wasn't really that good. So, because I waited way too long. This one, I, I think I went there he, or here before. And even you can see here. I'm not sure if PewDiePie was actually in this server, but he did play the game. And the music is starting up, which means the first game is going to happen. Red light, green light. And this game is way too accurate to the show. This game spoils a lot of the show, but there is the music. And I cannot put the music because of copyright, copyright reasons, which is why the uh, game is muted. And the music is not getting more intense right now. So as you guys will see, this is very accurate to the original show, which actually, there's even a timer here, is when it's starting. And I know it's pretty accurate, like it's, the fact that they actually made it Squid Game into Roadblock first, this guy doesn't even have a leg. Oh, and I see it's starting already. Okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, now we're starting the first game. Red light, green light. The door is right there. And um, the secret to winning this game is to avoid all the players. That's all it is. You cannot hide in the bushes here. You're going to die instantly. That's going to show like one or two games because... The waiting time is a bit long, but the entire point of this game, as you can see, someone already died. That's unbelievable. Surprisingly, no one died there. Oh, one person died. Yeah, that's the one that died before. Really? The one is nearby me. People are either so bad or like, it doesn't take much. So he's speaking, he's speaking right now. When he stops speaking, it turns red. And you have so much time. Did anyone? Wait, how did not? You can jump and not die. That guy was blocking me. Yeah, he's trying to push me here. It keeps getting quicker and quicker. And... Um, how did this guy die? He was clearly past the red line. Even the guy with one leg managed to pass. I know it's a mod, but still. So now we're waiting. It's pretty much... It's pretty much just waiting. You can even go after... After you get to the red... Light, I mean, the red uh, line there. You can pretty much go anywhere in here and she won't kill you. Or they won't shoot you. Also, this is because you pretty much finished the game, but look how the many amount of people actually died here, the players. I can't take, take this seriously. This is way too ridiculous. 
So now we're just waiting until the end of the the game here. It's almost done. The server lagged a bit there for a second, but yeah, it's uh Okay, more gunshots. It's just that was weird. Oh, and sugar honeycomb, guys, it is pretty challenging here. They made it very similar to the squid game by making it that you actually have to trace with... You have to have very good mouth control... Or mouth. Mouth control. I got the easiest one, though. Just circle. But you do have a, limit, a very limited amount of time. But yeah, circle is the easiest one. I kind of feel bad for people who got, uh, yeah, they got pretty much, uh, umbrella. Yeah, that's the torture. Circle is the easiest one. If they chose circle in the movie, it wouldn't even be a challenge. Like, yeah, saliva thing is very efficient, but circle is so easy. There's no corners. And there we go. We're now at the next stage. And this one is going to be more survival, but honestly, it's better just to hide. And I'm not going to try falling down because I might die. So look at all people here. And there is a pretty much a two minute timer. We have to survive. And the lights will go off. People are teaming up, but honestly, I haven't seen even one person die in this game, in this part of the game. As you can see here, everything went back. And it's pretty, I mean, it's kind of creepy, but remember it's Roblox. Like, how can you get, how can you get creeped out by their death bound? And this guy's trying to hit me. I was gonna dodge him. It's pretty limited. The movement here is pretty limited. Like, he's not even hitting me. And I'm just gonna go up here. Are they even hitting me? I don't even know. The hit registration here is even worse than uh, Team Fortress 2's melee system. This is ridiculous. And where am I going here? So they are getting damaged. Someone is actually about to die, which is surprising. It takes only like four hits with the bat. Oh, I almost killed this one. I almost killed this one. I'm so close. Can I kill this one right here? I kind of feel bad for whoever this is, but I just want to see what happens here. Oh, they're recovering health. Well, they, they're, they do know the tactic. Going back, baiting me, and then hitting me. I'm not going to try anymore. Seven seconds. That's showing you guys a full round of this game. I'm most likely going to die. I don't think it's... Yeah, after the... What was it? That? The third game or the fourth game, you, you can die pretty easily. And this guy is missing me every time. The next one is the tag of war. And the entire point of this game, you have to click as fast as possible and do as many clicks on your mouth. On your mouth. You have to do as many clicks. So this game, you have to do as many clicks on your mouse. And that's pretty much what it is. So you can see we are, I think, winning actually. It's not even a competition. People are already dying in this one. Oh, we're losing right now. Oh, no, we're winning. Are we winning? No. No, we're losing. That was pretty bad of us. So what happens is, is you just go to the lobby. 
and you just have to restart everything. And here we are, pretty much at the beginning. We have to wait another minute. So far, though, guys, this like this is the reason why I even downloaded Roblox. So it does bring you back all the way to the, the beginning. But after tag of war, it pretty much depends on the players. Like if it's, if they don't click fast enough, they pretty much die. Sure, people here are kind of weird though. I mean, they're mostly kids. I can, I don't doubt it. But this is my first time playing Roblox. I can never play it until now, just because of this game mode. Whenever this game mode comes into Gary's mod, or I wouldn't be surprised. Gary's mod might be interesting. Gary's mod Team Fortress 2 or any other old game, a modded, a modded version of uh, Squid Game within them. I'll definitely do it on my, on my channel and show you guys. Let's try doing this red light, green light again and see. Maybe, maybe I should just done purpose this time to see how it is. So here we're loading again. And yeah, this guy just okay. So you can also push people, but it's it's very clunky. It's not really a good mechanic. And if a guy looks like he's from like four guys here, not sure what he is, but such a weird avatar. It reminds me a bit of like Gary's mod avatars when you go into a server. And let's see how many people die here. Two people die. That person did not even like, did not even go through yet. Whoever that person in the end, they don't have much time. Some of them don't even move. I think it's because of their lag that causes them to die. Can you actually imagine if this is Sword Art Online and you have to go through this with a bad, with a bad connection? If you guys don't know Sword Art Online, it's an anime pretty much in, inside a VR system. But if you have a bad connection, I'm sure it would screw you up big time. And it, pretty much when you go, when you die in, that, in VR, you die in real life. Like, combine that with a uh, squid game, and that'll be even more terrifying. If you play it with a bad connection. You can climb here, although the mechanics are very, they're very weird. Like, it's, even compared to Gary's mod, this is pretty broken. And you can see, I can climb all the way to her to their head. It's pretty glitchy. Well, guys, that'll be the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And just don't forget to subscribe, like, and turn on the notification bells for more videos. And we'll see. I'm not sure if I'm going to play Roblox again. Maybe if they update this mod. But I just like the show so, so much. I just had to make a video of this. The first game, Roblox managed to make a mod out of Squid Game. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye bye.